depression is to me not who I am and is not part of who uh, of, of my existence I have a very very rational analytical mind um, I'm the sort of person who wanders around and does spatial mathematics stuff in my head just because it's out there um, you know, look at something, oh, wait a minute, that number seems wrong, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm very analytical, very rational. My depression is completely unanalytical and completely irrational. It does not connect to things that should make me unhappy or things that should make me happy. There is no direct correlation to anything, possibly stress. But on the other hand, if I had absolutely no stresses, would the depression still be here? I don't know. Um, okay, partly because I have had massive amounts of stress in my life now for, what, 15 years? Um, things have been up in the air and stressed at so many different points. But it's frustrating to me. Is This depression, beyond depression being very depressing, it's also very frustrating to me because I have this rational mind and I want to be able to understand things rationally and analytically. And my depression, I can't. And to me, that means the depression that I have is not part of who I am. It's not part of what I'm about. It's not part of my existence insofar as who Bernard von Schulman is. It is this other that has invaded me. And that leads to how do I look at depression? And how do I see depression? And for me, depression is a battle between myself, Bernard von Schulman, and some thing else within me that's trying to destroy me, that's trying to make a mess of my life. And the easiest way that I've found in the last while to describe what depression is like to me is uh, the Western Front in World War I, and where it's endless trench warfare. I mean, World War I as a war was irrational and stupid. There isn't, I mean, it is a war that had made absolutely no sense to anybody on any level, but they still fought it out. And very specifically, for me, the Depression is like the Battle of the Somme and I'm the British. I keep on flinging people up to the front. I keep on throwing them over the top and we gain a little bit, we gain a little bit, we gain a little bit more. And always, you know, so it's just a little few gains. And so, yeah, I'm conquering the other side and that sort of thing, but it's pointless. And as the Battle of the Somme showed, six months of that battle, the result was nothing. It was a complete and utter failure. One of the biggest failures in human history is the British Battle of the Somme. The British would have been a lot better off if they'd retreated you know, 10, 15 miles, found re built really great defensive positions, sat there and just waited for the Germans to starve and ended the war that way. But instead, they did the Battle of the Somme and it was a mistake. So... What I'm going to be trying to do in my life is trying to figure out how to get out of this battle of the Somme. And I don't want to continue in this universe because it just is not what I want to be. Anyway, more later, more another point. Thanks. Bye.